It's been a while since we stopped in with the folks at the South Shore Folk Music Club, so we swung by this past weekend before sound check. The All Volunteer Music Club has been bringing the South Shore Folk Music for years. We stopped in to hear what's new. The Folk Music Club has been around since 37 years ago, and it was started by a group of volunteers that included Dick Pleasance, and a board of directors started it and began having coffee houses and contra dances and all kinds of events. So we've continued the tradition and have continued having both concerts and coffee houses. Um, some past performers from way back included some really big people like Bonnie Raitt and Alison Krauss have played here. There's, there's a lot of history here in terms of live performance and bringing musicians through. Um, our format is having um, concerts on the first Saturday and coffee houses on the third Friday. We also um, have a group of people who are um, volunteers. We have about 20 volunteers at this point who help coordinate all the work. Everything from um, managing, keeping the books, running the kitchen, so we have a pretty coordinated group getting a lot of this work done so that really it doesn't depend on any one person to keep it going. It's been very pleasant to be able to organize it from my point of view working as president. And um, so what happens over time is, over the time I've been here, is you really feel like there's a sense of community here of between the volunteers, the uh, members that come regularly, and then people that just come for specific shows. They'll, they'll see people that they loved, and then they realize it's, it's handy. It's, you, know, you don't have to go to Boston. You don't have to go to Providence. You can see some major performers right in the community. One of the things that really holds our volunteer group together is our famous potluck dinner for every concert. And um, we all a lot of us cook homemade food, and we all sit down at the table together with musicians who are performing. And it's, it's very, very collegial. It's, they're, it's, uh, it's always fun. We always have to cut ourselves off to start the show. Um, I'm a longtime volunteer for the South Shore Folk Music Club. We've been in existence for 37 years, and I've been with the club at least 27 of those years. Um, um, my great interest in the club is with our coffee houses, with our more local performers. We have an open mic that happens in the middle of our coffee houses. Each performer gets to do two songs, uh, and then they may be booked as a, as a result. Additionally, we have an all open mic one night of the year where we have only open mic performers, and we, we get about 15 uh, people to come out to that and uh, share their songs uh, with everybody. That's, um, that's my main interest. Uh, in addition, uh, we do run uh, once a year a traditional ballad singing contest for young people from grade four to age 25. And so that's one of the, one of the ways that we keep in touch with our roots. <laughs> 